in a bid to encourage self-reliance through skills acquisition among the people of Lagos Highland East Local Council Development Area. The leadership of the council led by Mui Bifolawiyo organized a six-month training for indigent. The graduation ceremony was graced by political, traditional and religious leaders, council officials, residents as well as graduates. In his keynote address, the executive chairman Mui Bifolawiyo said the best way to excel in life is through knowledge hence the need to train the youth in various skills. He advised the graduating students of the skills acquisition training to make judicious use of the skills learned and also pass on the knowledge. Vocational education has become an integral part of life. It is the art of acquiring a skill in order to earn a living and survive possible threat of economic action. It helps to improve quality of life and appreciate human capacity, capability. Ladies and gentlemen, it is no gain saying that skill empowers people for their future and provides a means of economic empowerment that can be sustained for a longer time. Therefore, helping young boys and girls in this regard are working their mind to take responsibility and face life challenges with courage and determination. Today, 125 graduates of this great ski action center will be celebrated today. We have 51 from fashion design, 29 from hairdressing and cosmetology, 17 from computer, 25 from, from shoe making and three from refrigerating and air conditioning. I want to especially congratulate all the graduates of this starting edition of this graduation ceremony. I pray God bless your effort with resounding success. The great Lagos Island is in Stanas. In addition to the certificate we are awarding today, it is my pleasure to give the best graduates equipment and tools that will aid their startup. The acquired skills include barbing, makeup artistry, fashion design, cosmetology, and computer appreciation. To spice up the occasion, there was a fashion parade by the cosmetology department. Stakeholders lauded the initiative and advised the youth to be great ambassadors of Nigeria. My advice to the beneficiary is whatever they gave them to today, any tools given them today, they should try and use it well and use it properly. They should not just keep it at home. It is not meant for home. It is meant for work. My advice to my students today, with the knowledge that they have here, they can establish with it and continue. It will even help them in the school because most of them is still in the school, like university. Can you even support them? Yeah, to the beneficiary that they should keep up the skill. It is not just learning the job alone, but going to the field and practice what they have learned. And you know, the, the local government have also supported them with cash gifts and also equipment. My advice is that they should not eat, they should not toy with the skill that they have acquired so that that objective can be realized, that is providing a livelihood with a skill that they have achieved. As you know, entrepreneurial skill is one of the best things you can give any young man or woman. And this will uh, put this young one on a very good pedestal where they will be, most of them can be self-employed, most of them can use this skill to make a living for themselves. My great advice to this beneficiary is that they should see this as a privilege and take, make very good use of opportunity of this so that at the end of the day they will start to benefit more. The chairman assured of his commitment in improving the livelihood of residents. He noted that he simply wants to serve his people. I promise them that I, I want to be accountable to them. I promise that they should ask for what their money is being spent on. And giving back to the people is not by giving money. 
give back to the people. It's not really about structure, it's doing road. We need to look inward to improve the economic situation of the, of the local government and local state in general. Hence, those that received uh, uh, equipment now, they are going out there and being a player of labor. And even the federal government acknowledged the you know, improvement of improvement of SME, and that is what we are following. And we believe what we did today is just a pit, it's just an inch of what we have in stock for them. The skills learned are further support youth to be self-reliant. Thank you.